fix this mess. We need the note to live on the state of note form itself. So I'll add note to this dot state, and I want that to be a blank note. So if note form is now responsible for tracking that note, I'll just move blank note from app down here. So let's find that. Blank note, there it is. Just take you out of here. Put you down here. I'll put it after that. There we go. And I'll say note is this dot blank note. Comma. So every place we're setting blank note right now is going to break. So we have this current note thing on app. Why did we put it there in the first place? Because clicking one of these needs to be able to change that too, right? So instead of setting the current note, how about we just set a note ID on app? We could pass that down as a prop. So in app, when we initialize state, we're setting current note to this dot blank note. We'll change that to current note ID and we'll just start it as null. Every place we refer to current note, we need to change that. So here's set current note. If you really wanted, we could keep that called set current note and just make it set current note ID to the ID of the note that we pass in. That would be all right. Reset current note. Still want that, I suppose. So it'll just set current note. Well, it just wants to set the ID though. So we'll just pass in an object with an ID of null. So we'll just set the ID back to null when we reset the current note. In save note, we set current note to this note. That's fine because the whole point is to set the ID. It's the way set current note works now. That's what it'll do. It'll just get the ID out of there and set current note on ID on state. Now remove current note is going to look for this dot state dot current note dot ID. But we no longer have this dot state dot current note. As an object, we have this dot state dot current note ID as just the ID. So that's our change to remove current note. And we pass down current note in this note data thing. That is now current note ID. And we pass down this dot state dot current note ID. And that gets passed down to main. And in main, we pass it on to note form. Current note. So this is now current note, oops, current note ID and props.current note ID. And back in note form, our title input is still getting its value from current note.title. And current note comes out of this dot props. But what we want to do now, we have this dot state dot note. 
So this input should get it not from current note dot title, but from this dot state dot note dot title. At that point, it stops exploding. It still doesn't work, but it stops exploding. So let's look at handle changes, because I bet that's going to need to change. So handle changes, we copy this.props.current note. Well, that's not a thing anymore. Instead, we want a copy of this.state. Dot note. We change the title, and then we need to update state, right? We need to update the state within this component. So this dot set state note. So that it stays in sync with the value. Then we want to call this prop save note and pass that note up. And we could wait until set state is finished if we wanted. Use our new trick. Set state we know is asynchronous, happens in the background. So we want to make sure that finishes before we call save note. I can just pass in a callback as a second argument to set state and call this.props.save note from there. Am I still able to create new notes? Yeah. Complete with rich text. Not so much. Handle editor changes still uses this.props.current note. So that should be this.state. Dot note. And yep, in addition to uh, setting the state, the editor value in the state, we need to update the note in the state. So we need to make our changes to the note first. Make a copy of the note, change the body, set state, not just the editor value, also the note. And if we wanted to only call this.props.save note after that's finished, we could again use the callback pass in an arrow function that calls this.props.save note, passing in the updated note. So all we did differently here was get the note out of state, which meant that after we updated the note, we needed to again update state with not just the editor value, but the note too. Does that work? Oh my gosh. Look at that. I was back in that situation where every letter I uh, typed made a whole new note. Terrible. How about now? There we go. Please? Yay. Okay, that seems to work. So now it's unbroken, kind of. But what happens if we click one of these? Let's look at our React Dev Tools. Let's look at current note ID. Okay, it's 1499 something. If I click on a different one, that changes. Okay, it ends in 907 right now. Now it ends in 294. So current note ID is changing. Can I delete? And which one does it delete? Didn't delete how about now. 
deleted the one I clicked on. But we need to update the form with the one we clicked on, right? So what changes when we click? Not current note, but current note ID. So we need to actually change the note when our current note ID prop changes. So we're back to looking for a change to our props. Component will receive props. So next props dot current note isn't the thing anymore. Uh, we'll get the new ID. So I'll make const next ID equal to next props dot current note ID. Remember next props, what the props are about to change to. So then I want to set the note equal to whichever note has that ID. So I'm going to need the whole list of notes down here. So in main, I do have props.notes, but it's not being passed to note form. So I'll just pass it down to note form. So note form now receives notes, the list of all the notes. So then what I could do is say const note equals next props dot notes square bracket next ID. What if next ID changed because I clicked new note or because I deleted a note? What's the ID going to be? Null, right? What's next props dot notes square bracket null? Nothing. So when I try to get a title from nothing, it's going to have an error. It's going to say, can I find property title of undefined? So on the right side of this equal sign, what I could do is say note equals next props dot notes. In other words, the note with that ID or this dot blank note, if that doesn't work. So ors don't actually necessarily return true or false. They return whichever one was true. If the thing on the left side of an or is true, it's not ever going to bother checking the right side because only one of the two things has to be true, right? And it will just return this value. It won't return true, it'll return this value. If that's false, it'll check the right side. And if that's true, it'll return that value. So this will return truly either this note or a blank note. So I can set const note to either the note with that ID out of the list or a blank note. So that I can be sure that note is always a note and not undefined or something. Okay, so if that happens, I get my editor value. I check whether the editor value converted to a string is equal to note body. If it's not, I create an editor value out of the body of that note. And I run this dot set state and I change both the note and the editor value because I might have just switched notes. So I'm doing the same thing I was before with an extra step. I'm also updating the note. Because if I clicked something else in the sidebar, not the sidebar, but the note list, that changes current note ID, which updates my props, which runs component will receive props. And then I may need to actually change notes at that time. But component will receive props is not going to change every time that I change the note in the form. Because I'm not currently, I'm no longer passing down the entire note in props. So unless the ID changes, that's not going to trigger component to receive new props. Does it work? Let's click one. Hey, hey. It changed, 
both the title and the body. Let's fix this. Ooh, it kept our fix. Keep your dirty mitts off. Yeah. Typing at the end. Not backwards either. Hooray. Yeah. A, A, A. Cool. I delete. Up, up. Oh, yeah, they don't have titles, which interestingly doesn't clear out the title if you go to something without a title. Well, let's delete this garbage. There's quite a bit of garbage here. So it seems to work. Bully did. Oh my gosh. You know what's faster? Probably. Deleting it in Firebase. I don't know which user this is. It's this guy. Okay. You know what? Let's just get rid of all his notes. That's all right. Which version of me is this? Okay, so this is Gmail guy. Fretless Davies note. Things we like about React. Bulleted list. Declarative programming. Components. Speed. Make a new note. Blah blah blah. Bloggedy bloogly blah. Switch back. We're good. I see something in the console that it doesn't like. Note form is changing a controlled input of type text to be uncontrolled. Input elements should not switch from controlled to uncontrolled or vice versa. Let's see at which point it complains. Hasn't complained yet. Click this. Still hasn't complained. If I hit new, still hasn't complained. Hasn't complained. That might have been a really old error message. I suspect it was a really old warning. Cool, I think we did it. So our work in progress is no longer a work in progress. We can now edit notes with rich text. There's a lot to that. If it makes you feel any better, session two didn't do this at all. And session one didn't even build Note Herder. So, kind of bonus doing the rich text editor. It's a little much, but we can handle it. We're tough.